let's focus here. Let's try to make this user have all properties as non optional. And one way of doing it is to having partial representations of the user as part of the flow. Instead of using a user throughout the flow, we only create the user at the end of the flow when you have all the data. Okay. Right. So my approach here would be to create a model that represents each step. So the first step, let me restart the app. The first step is the name step. It's a structure to represent the kind of data you will collect in that step. So in the name step, you get a name, string, and a last name, string. Make sense? Yes. And at the end of this step, you will have a name step structure, <laughs> not a user. Uh, let's say step. We have the name and last name. Not a user. Now we can pass this step to the VC. But, but yeah. then we are coupling the next view controller with the result of the previous one. Exactly. And usually we don't want that because maybe your boss will come to you and say, you know what, we want to A-B test and change the order of the flow and see which one converts more. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be hard because each step here is coupled with the next one. So you cannot change the order of, of those yeah. uh, steps easily. So what we could do here, instead of coupling the step with the next step, we simply say, we send a completion message saying, I'm, I'm done. And it could be through a protocol, as you mentioned, we could have a protocol or just a closure. Could have a completion closure, which will produce a name step and return void. So when you reach the end of the step, simply call completion with a step. And someone else is responsible for creating the next view controller and pushing it to the screen. So we can create a class responsible for controlling which view controller is the next step. Sign up to. They usually call it sign up flow. Yeah, yeah. Like this, yeah, exactly. Just one thing before. Yes. So about the second one, I don't think like in this case also, if if the if a view controller doesn't need the data, right? Sign up two doesn't need any data from sign up one, you know, like simply don't pass the data, right? This simplifies mm -hmm. your design by default. 